So I was getting ready to film this morning and <laughs> I was kind of thinking to myself, here, hold on a wee second. I think I have filmed this exact makeup tutorial before. So I started to panic and then I'd done a wee bit of research through my channel. Basically I thought that I'd done this exact makeup tutorial last year wearing this exact top. And I was like, what a coincidence, can't be. But I was wrong, thank God. <laughs> Because I really want to like film this makeup tutorial. I want to do something with a really dark, bold, chocolatey, glossy lip and a mustard eye. But I have done something like this before in the past years ago. But the makeup look that I'm thinking of that I done last year. Yes, I was wearing this top and I had a brown, a dark brown glossy lip, but I paired it with a really nice like smoky and chocolatey eye. I have to say I love that makeup tutorial, but <laughs> can I start it to panic a wee bit? Because <laughs> I feel like most of my tutorials, like, yeah, every now and again, they can be a wee bit repetitive, but doing the exact same makeup tutorial again, wearing the exact same top, may it come on. <laughs> so I'm just going to start my skin. I'm using the Laura Mercier Pure Cara Pure, 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 Pure Canvas. Primer. This is the hydrating one because, gals, my skin, my skin is so dry at the minute. I feel like it's just at this time of year, the skin is parched at the minute. But if I'm wanting a really nice hydrating primer, this is the one that I always gravitate towards, as you probably would know actually, because nearly every time I use this, I'm like, my skin's so dry. I'm going to go a wee bit busy today because I've just realised as well that this foundation is coming up to a year old. Yeah, and you should only have this for 12 months. The Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation. This is honestly the most beautiful foundation. And every time I use it, every time I use it, I'm like, I love it so much and it's so nice because it is. But it's so expensive that I don't want to buy it again. <laughs> it is the most skin-like foundation. At the minute I'm kind of trying to like plan bridal makeup tutorials and maybe makeup looks and obviously for my YouTube but also for myself as well. Um, if you're somebody that is looking for a really nice bridal makeup look but you don't like or want like full coverage or something, like for example I would probably use the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation but if you want something that's going to be a wee bit more skin like but give you a really nice natural coverage, making your skin and like beautiful with a nice wee satin glow and finish. Try this. Honestly, give it a wee go. I'm sure you're bound to be able to get a sample of it because it is expensive, but it is worth it. It really, really is worth it. But because it is so expensive, try and get a wee sample of it first of all, just in case you don't like it or you don't get along with it, depending on what your skin type is. With me having obviously dry skin, I love it. It's great because it does have a really nice liquidy formula. So it just glides onto the skin and it is quite a nice hydrating formula as well. I feel it sits beautifully on the skin and it just has a really nice like natural satin finish to it. This is the Tarte Shape Tip. I'm also going to be taking the Refi Cream Bronzer. I just like to use this on my cheeks because it goes really red on my forehead for some reason. I like to take the shade Tan. I'm just going to stipple this on first of all with the sweet brush from Kaleidos. Kaleidos? Kaleidos? Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll go in and buff it out with a sponge. I just prefer the finish of a sponge. Oh, do you know what I'm really wanting to do? I really want to do a Jess Hunt inspired makeup tutorial. I've recently started following her on Instagram and I'm obsessed with her makeup. I'm going to take that foundation sponge and I'm just going to go right in those edges of the cream bronzer and up around my cheekbone where the concealer meets the cream bronzer just to really melt those together and underneath just so everything's br branded <laughs> blend it pretty seamlessly and then I'm just going to use the So Say Jackson as a cream bronzer on my forehead another Sosu product. This is the Sosu liquid blush. So I like to take one pump just on the back of my hand and then just using a fluffy brush. I've been loving this product recently. It's actually so so nice. 
it was just one of those like impulse purchases off Beauty Bay. You know, whenever you're just doing a bit of shopping and you're just like, oh, that looks nice. Let's try that. It's got a wee bit of shimmer through it as well, so it's nice and glowy. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Your collar's all twisted down in. She's got so big, hasn't she? So sad. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Where's mommy's girl? Oh no. Why did it always do this? I was wanting to use the Nova, the Vive Nova Glow Liquid Light. Don't like using this whenever I've just set my face. It, look, it looks okay, but I just, I, I've yet to try it on non-set skin, so I was wanting to try it the day, but oh well. We can try it whenever I do my Jess Hunt Inspire tutorial. <laughs> I'm just going to do a wee bit of highlight with this Beauty Bay highlighter. Stanley, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I've left out a couple of blushers. I haven't used these blushers in a while actually. This one from Mellow Cosmetics. But I have this one from e.l.f. It's a strange colour, isn't it? It kind of looks like an orange sorbet, orange sorbet type of colour. I don't know how this is going to look or how it's even going to come off my skin. I'll try a wee bit of it, you know, just to actually see. I feel like it's just... Yeah, it's just a wee bit too peel for me. My face is too orange for this. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I'm just going to go in for the Mellow Cosmetics. I'm still trying to fight my way through this. <laughs> This is the Grey's bronzer. I used this in yesterday's tutorial and whenever I was linking it, I did notice that it's actually on sale at the minute on Beauty Bay. So I would really highly recommend this bronzer if you're looking for a new one. As you can see, I love it dearly. I probably will end up buying a new one because it's gorgeous. The shade I do use, by the way, is Poppin' Portugal. Stanley! your bed up so you can have a wee nap. Even though the guys are crazy, even though the stars are blind. God, do you remember Paris Holton's music career? Although she's like a DJ, like she done DJ in there for quite a while, didn't she? <laughs> Although I have to say I did have a bit of a guilty pleasure for her music. <laughs> oh, sugar. Oh yeah, the drawer. So yeah, I'm gonna take the P. Louise, if the crown fits, if the crown fits, yeah, palette, because these shades here, so this one and this one, oh, mm, on camera it's coming off quite orange. I basically want to do like a one shade lid, I want, I basically want to do one shade just all over my lid, that's it. So I was thinking that color, See these palettes? I hear it! These palettes. This shade here? Just all over the lid? Or this one? Oh, what do you think? I'm kind of scared about how this one is looking on camera because it's looking quite orange, but I don't want it to look orange. I want it to just look like pure mustard. Pukey. I can do both. This shade. I'm going to see what it just looks like on the lid. Go with it. Let's just get her on. Stanley, I would love to know what she is doing. What is she doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Why are you being a rascal? Huh? I 
Training you, Dan. <sighs> gonna switch to a fluffy brush now and still take some of that shade. I'm gonna give this a bit of a blend. So last night I went on a bit of a dive into my YouTube channel. <laughs> And I literally went back to my very first makeup tutorials and I watched some of them with the volume down because I cannot listen back to my tutorials whenever I first started YouTube. I just, I can't. I just get so much secondhand embarrassment from myself. Um, what is the purpose of this story? Where am I going with this? Oh yeah, I don't know. It was just... You know, just one of these things that you just do like really late at night and it's like, yeah, okay. Um, so I just started going through like all my old tutorials and I don't know, it was just for shits and giggles, I suppose. But you know, the one thing that stood out and I think it's like the one thing that always stands out to anybody that approached and came onto my channel was my eyebrows. Now, I have to say, I still get shit about my eyebrows and that's fair. I'm just, I'm just gonna eat. That's just my life now, okay? Um, my eyebrows still aren't great. I agree with everybody. <laughs> um, I bully myself too. <laughs> but my eyebrows back then, whenever I first started my channel, excuse me, how I wasn't arrested and publicly hung for shame about my eyebrows, I will never know. Disgusting. <laughs> they were wick. <laughs> they were absolutely well looking. I'm gonna take this somewhat clean brush and give that all a wee blend. I'm now gonna go in hey, this shit here. So I'm just going to use this shade to further blend out that first shade that we took. I just hope that these two shades don't go like, dirty. You know what I'm like with P. Louise eyeshadow palettes? I am just notorious for making them not work. Is that like mustard -y? <laughs> I don't know if it does. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna take any shadow on my lower lash line, but I'm gonna take this a gel liner from Be Perfect. This is in the shade Mute. And this is probably the best nude liner that I have ever actually tried on my waterline. It literally does not budge. <laughs> literally, it does not budge. I absolutely love it, but I feel like it just opens up the eye nearly brightens the eye, opens it up, literally just makes such a difference. I feel I especially love a nude lid, a nude, a nude waterline situation, especially if I'm not doing anything on the lower lash line. They also have a white one as well, like for somebody who prefers white, but I feel like it's maybe a wee bit too harsh on the lower lash line and maybe too stark white, whereas I do prefer the... <coughs> What's going on with my voice? <laughs> Whereas I do prefer the nude one. I just feel like it looks a bit a wee bit more toned down. So I'm just gonna pop some glue on my lashes. <sighs> I love dogs so much. So while them lashes are getting tacky, I'm just gonna go on and do my my wee spots. So I use the Made by Mitchell brown liner to do like the wee beauty spots on my feet. At least my lashes are. Elsa lashes. I have a discount code in the description box down below for you if you want to have a wee nosy at them. It's not affiliate or anything, I don't make anything from it, but it's for 20% off, like, site wide. I have no idea why there's a Christmas song stuck in my head. Okay, 
Okay, so now for the lips. I feel like this is a bit of a boring makeup look, but the lips is really going to set it off. I'm just going to do a wee bit of a brow gel first of all, but I shit you not, I have left out 10 lip products. <laughs> and I'm going to show you some all as like recommendations. <laughs> I have this a double ended situation from Shein slash She Glam. She Glam, full face She Glam, coming soon by the way, I haven't forgotten. lip products I tend to choose from. I definitely know that I want to do a glossy lip so I think when we do lip gloss first of all I have three. So two from Colourpop, one from Makeup Revolution. This is the Relove brand that's within Revolution and this is their baby gloss and this is in the shade Wonder. This is a beautiful wee brown lip gloss and the pigment in this is honestly, you couldn't fault it. You can see yourself like how nicely pigmented this is so you don't even need to go in with a lipstick you can literally probably just go in with your lip liner and then this lip gloss honestly it's so so nice and i think they're only like a couple of pounds as well this one here is their lip oil so this is in the shade honey kiss this is going to be a wee bit more subtle with not much pigment in it because it is their lip oil there you can barely even see it swatched on my hand actually if i was to use this i would obviously outline my lips use a brown lipstick and then use this on top instead of maybe a lip gloss if you're wanting something to actually help moisturise the lips, protect the lips or whatever or you want to add a wee bit of care to the lips instead of just going in with a lip gloss. Then I have this lip gloss from Colourpop and it's in the shade Health Kick. What I love about this is the fact that it has, oh look at me YouTuber, it has glitters through it so it is really really nice. It's very very subtle but just whenever it catches the light beautiful so that's it there swatched as you can see it's maybe not as pigmented as the we love one and no brainer of that one <laughs> but yeah as you can see there's still a bit of pigment there nyx soft matte lip cream so this is a drugstore option it's in the shade dubai that's that one i do kind of feel like it's maybe a lighter tone brown i I don't think I'll use this one because I'm wanting something that's really, really dark and rich. A lipstick from Colourpop. Oh, be have? Oh, be have. Ah, oh, yes. Stunning. I think I might actually use this. Beautiful. It's just like a really nice, true chocolate brown. Next one we have is Cinnamon, and this is a bullet lipstick from Colourpop so that's that there oh you can definitely see like the color difference between these two but they're definitely still beautiful colors aren't they this one's actually really really pretty and then i have a darker one here um chocolatier yeah oh this one's gonna be nice too actually damn it <laughs> Um, so that's that one swatch. Look how beautiful like all these shades are. I feel like any shade would be stunning with any of these glosses paired on top. So this is Stone by MAC. I just want to give you a couple of options. And this is more, this is definitely more of like a cool toned brown, I feel. Yeah, it's definitely like a, a stone type of colour, like granite or something. No, granite would be like grey, never mind. <laughs> I have this one from Dose of Colours which you probably can't get anymore and the shade isn't on the bottom anymore. It must be a wee sticker that fell off. But this is a really beautiful colour as well. Was that it? Was that the swatch I done? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. It's beautiful as well. Just like a really nice true brown. This is from Kaleidos. I'll do it here. Oh, the formula of these are beautiful they're like a really nice like whipped matte like a mousse formula very very comfortable on the lips so that, that's that shade there swatched oh no what shade am i gonna use so i feel like just looking at the swatches on my hand the dose of colors shade is very similar to Obehave from Colourpop. The only difference I can see in my hand is the formula. This is a matte formula and this is a cream. But because we're putting a gloss on top it doesn't really matter anyway. I think I'm actually just going to go for the Colourpop one. I'm 
actually just going to use this wee one from Relove. Look at that. Look at that chocolatey goodness. So guys, this comes to the end of the tutorial. I think it's all so, so much for watching. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.